Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to get your loadouts with auto hotkey set up and it's gonna look something like this for Slayer. We'll take out all your gear, close the bank, put them on in two seconds, boom you're good to go. Easy, come back, bank, and then this is for the birdhouse and we also have like farm run. And if you're not using auto hotkey, you're not playing Windscape, right? Fuck Jagex, you'll never get caught. Like honestly guys, as long as no one can actually see what you're doing on your screen, there's thousands, if not millions of people using auto hotkey. And how many Jagex employees there are? Maybe a handful. So in order for them to keep track of y'all, it's, it's virtually impossible unless you get reported. I personally bought it like 200 mil mage and didn't get caught. So don't worry about that shit boys. Time to uh, play the game properly and play it in the way where Jagex should have implemented fucking loadouts. I don't know why they don't have loadouts, but that's why I'm here to teach you how to make your own using auto hotkey. And without further ado, we're gonna get started. All right. So to install auto hotkey, let's go on the website. Now there's two versions of it. Very important, you wanna download the older version, 1.1. Even if it says appreciated, don't worry about that. It still works flawlessly. I don't know about 2.0, it's not that good. After you install it, you wanna install site for, oh shit. You wanna install site for auto hotkey. And this is the editor you're gonna be using so that it makes your uh, coding much easier. You just click installer and you get to download it. All right, so once you get site for auto hotkey launched, the first thing you wanna do is copy and paste this shit in. And uh, don't worry about how this works, Just you just want it in your script. This is basically an optimization for how fast the mouse moves and it will basically get rid of any mouse delays uh, when you have the mouse movement scripts that I'm about to show you going and it will basically teleport the mouse and make it work a lot more smoothly and efficiently and the next thing you want to know is you can pick any key on your keyboard that's why I love this program because you can choose any shift key combo any F key on itself and control and alts are also good uh, combo keys to initiate and trigger your scripts so what I do is I use F12 personally and then you gotta do double dots in return. I always start my script like this. So this is the trigger key for the script and return is where the script ends. It basically makes uh, the auto hotkey stop reading more code. Otherwise, if you don't have return, it will just keep on reading uh, code in infinitely beyond the trigger key. So you don't want that. You always wanna have a return at the end of, in between each trigger key. And a really good script I wanted to show you guys is the, mouse get position of the coordinate of the mouse so like let's say you're somewhere here and you want to get a coordinate of this bank you want to send the mouse to the bank you want to get the x and y coordinate of the of the mouse and to do that this is what the script will look like mouse get position p of x p of y that is the variable in which it will store uh, actually, this is the variable in which uh, it will get the X and Y position of the mouse wherever it's at. And in the clipboard, you have these uh, percent marks because that's how auto hotkey works. I, I don't know, I can't explain why coding is the way it is, but basically this will send the uh, X and Y coordinates into the clipboard, which is the copy paste function of your PC. So whenever, wherever your mouse is, it will have an X and Y coordinate. So let's just save this real quick so I can give you guys a demonstration. and. If you, if you ever want to save it uh, as anything, whatever, just type whatever. Uh, don't don't save it just just with the name. You want to have .dot .ahk at the end. Otherwise, sometimes it can glitch out. So it's important to put the .dot .ahk when you're saving these scripts, even if it's selected here. It doesn't matter. .dot .ahk it up, guys. And now, in order to launch the script. Now that it's saved, you just click this blue button and it should launch right here. There we go. Now we know it's running. So now when I press F12, it will take the X and Y coordinate of the mouse, put it in the clipboard so I can copy paste it and it will pop also a message box up and now let's, let's give it a go. So if I want to find out what the coordinates are of this bank, I press F12 and boom, 1414 14 is the X coordinate and 300 is the Y coordinate. And it's also now copied. So if I press control V, boom, there we go. We have it. In, ease of access and we're gonna be using this technique over and over so you better get familiar with this one so now that we've learned how to uh, get the positions of the mouse we don't know we actually don't need this uh, line of code the message box so you can either delete it or press Control and Q and uh, this way the 
when it's green like this, auto hotkey won't actually uh, read this as code. It basically makes it like a note. So control Q with inside for auto hotkey will note the script so it doesn't get read as code. Now for the script itself. Let's say we want to use F1 is our trigger key. Again, we're going to put return here to end the script. First order of business. We want to get the mouse position of each and every one of our items in the bank. So I'm just going to hover over the Slayer Helm, hit F12, got the coordinates, let's pop him in. But we want to pop him in with a mouse move script. So we're going to have the mouse move space these coordinates. And a uh, rule of thumb for um, using this uh, if you're going to be using the fast script you always want to have a sleep 50 in between each action otherwise it will the auto hotkey is way too fast for your uh, runescape to respond to you so sleep 50 in between each line of code is the general rule of thumb and once it moves to the slayer hub also you can make notes space this dots right here so i just type in slayer hub so i know so these are the coordinates of the slayer hub after which it moves to them, we want to have a click. So after it clicks, it then sleep 50. And that's the first item done. And now you can just copy and paste it for the next item. Next item we're going to have is the fighter torso. Again, hover my mouse over the fighter torso, hit F12, get the coordinates of the new item, pop them in, and make a note. And we're going to repeat this for all the items, basically. And that's how you're going to make your uh, Slayer loadout script. Alright, now that I've done all the items, after I selected every single item for the Slayer loadout, using the method I showed you, I'm not going to take the coins in this one, so that's why I did Control q If I hit Control q obviously now it's going to take the coins out, but in my particular loadout, I don't want the coins. Um, and what I did was, I got the bank X button coordinate at the end of all the items. So basically it's going to click this button and it's going to start clicking in the inventory next. So what I did was I have a send escape. As soon as it closes the mouse button, we do send escape. And, or, and let, let's say you open up the bank in your uh, skills tab. If you close it, it will be still in the skill tab and it will start clicking the skills. So you don't want that. So when it sends escape, that's my button for the inventory. So it's very important to have that have it going. And then of course there's a sleep 15 between each and every one of them. And this is basically my mouse movement to equip the items in the inventory. But let me just show you guys how uh, this is gonna work right here. So I'm gonna take out the uh, equipping and I'm only gonna show you the loadout. Sorry, sometimes it launches twice. So in this particular one, F1 is my key. So let's say I open up the bank, hit F1. And it withdraws all the items, closes the bank. Again, let's, let's say this time I do the equipping. I'm just going to hit Control Q on all the equipping coordinates. Let's rerun the script. Oh, I hate when it opens twice, but it is what it is. I also have a hotkey to close the script. So this time it's going to actually equip them. F1, takes them all out, closes the bank, and starts equipping them, and good to go. So that's basically it guys, that's how you make a script to take out any item from your bank and uh, equip it in whatever, you're good to go. Hope you enjoy and let me know if you got questions. More coming up. Oh yeah, one more thing guys, I forgot to show you. You can also use the script to um, do equipment switches and whatnot, it works really good. You just get the coordinates, pick a key, and in order to get my mouse back to the same position, um, what I did was... Uh, Let's see. So this is what the script would look like. I use the tilde key because it's really convenient. And in this particular case, we're using a five item switch. So we're gonna have this same script running five times. Now, the first line is mouse get position P of X, P of Y. What this will do is wherever you start this script, it will actually um, record the mouse coordinates. So let's, let's say my mouse is over here. It will. It will send it right back there after it starts switching. So that's really important to get the initial mouse position. And I also have block mouse input. So what this does is it freezes me from using my mouse until I put block mouse input off. So I basically block any mouse movement. It does all the switching and then it allows me to use the mouse again at the end. 
And the very last slide is mouse move to P of X, P of Y. So the first one is mouse get position, P of X, P of Y, and then it, it sends it to that coordinate after everything is done switching. And it, as you can see, it's literally the same script we just showed you. And yeah, it looks like this guy's, it's really good. I use it in tormented demons and black demons all the time. And again, if you're not using auto hotkey guys, you're really missing out and don't be shy. Like I, I honestly think this, this is how you should play the game. Like fuck what anyone says, you know what I mean? It makes it so much better for you. Like you're literally like spending hours on this.